What's up ninjas, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing not really an unboxing because really all you get in the box is the gun and then the cleaning kit, the lock that nobody uses and the owner's manual. Nothing too crazy for the unboxing. So if you've been following along with the community posts and the shorts, I got the vector. I've always wanted a vector since like 2009. This is one of my dream guns. Finally got one, finally got a chance to pick one up. So I've already done some upgrades. So this is obviously not how it came from the factory. It came with this little end cap with a little cutie mount and a little sling swivel here. Nothing too crazy, but I had to get rid of that. So I ordered the Strike Industries Picatinny stock adapter for the vectors. So it's just basically a little threaded piece with a Picatinny rail on the end. Pretty cool, decent price on this. I think it was around 50 bucks. Also, it came with these very nice iron sights, but I decided to take them off because you can't really see them with the EOTech on there. I think these are shorter than like a standard um, iron sight height. It also came with this hand stop, just a little aluminum hand stop. These are actually pretty expensive. I decided to put my famous AFG2, I think, the Magpul Stealth Gray and the Vector Combat Gray pretty much are almost the same thing. We have the SB Tactical FS 1913 brace. Pretty cool little folding brace. Just folds out like that. It doesn't get in the way of the trigger, so you could still fire this thing folded. And by the way, YouTube, we're, we are clear. The bolt's locked back. You can't really see in there, but the bolt's locked back. No children in there. No uh, animals lurking around in there, so we are in a safe and controlled environment. So future plans for this thing, I'm really not wanting to do a whole bunch to this. I may end up getting a different handguard. Uh, Strike Industries makes a pretty cool looking handguard. I'm going to leave it how it is for now, but there are options. So I'll give you guys a little manual of arms rundown real quick. We have our mag release right here. It's only on one side. All the controls are only on one side besides the safety. We do have an ambidextrous safety here. Uh, bolt release and bolt catch. This is just a little paddle here. So push this way to release and then push on this side to catch. Easy enough. Charging handle is actually pretty cool. And I'll show you real quick. It folds out like this. And then you pull back and let go. So it is non-reciprocating, meaning you can put your hand here and not have to worry about breaking your thumb in half. It is a little stiff. I don't know if it's going to loosen up over time. But a lot of the videos I've seen, people complain about how stiff the charging handle is or it just feels weird. But um, just going to take some getting used to over a normal AR. All the controls are different, so mag release, bolt catch, and everything is all on this side. We do have the ambidextrous safety. Flick down for fire, flick up for safe. Same thing on the other end. Nice little easy to see red and white. Always wanted a vector since 2009. Modern Warfare 2, the original Modern Warfare 2. So we have one, two, three, four pins that need to come out. And this is just a standard takedown for cleaning and stuff like that. So at first you just want to pull out these three. So they just come out pretty easily. Take those out. And then your whole gun will come in half. So this is the lower. This is the actual gun. Pretty compact little device. So charging handle. I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you know about the Vector, you know how it works. But instead of the bolt going back and forth, reciprocating, it actually goes It goes back and then it goes down into uh, basically parallel with the magwell. So as you can see, it kind of goes back and then down and rides through that little slot. Pretty cool little operation. And we can also pull out 
this fourth pin here and your whole bolt assembly will come out. So this is basically how it goes. It starts here, this kind of compresses, goes down and back up. I don't think it's that dramatic, but that's basically how it works. And then the bolt just comes out easily. You would basically just turn it sideways and the bolt will come out. Not too hard to disassemble. And then to put it back in, just line these little circular spots up with the rails. Let's see if we can do this here. And then it will go all back into place. You can put your little pin in and then put the whole gun back together. And then we just take our upper and index the holes together very easily put the three pins back in their respective holes all the pins are the same so it doesn't really matter boom we're back together quick little function check perfect a um, couple other things I forgot to mention we do have a threaded barrel, half by 28. I am going to go ahead and get a bigger suppressor. I think I'm going to get a 45 cal can just so I can use it on the 1911s or whatever. But this is 9mm, if I didn't mention already. 9mm vector. It should be pretty light recoiling. Um, I think that's pretty much it as far as rundown of this gun. Super excited to shoot this thing. Like I said, it's been one of my dream guns since I was a kid. So we do have the Vector. This is the 2.1. And then we also have... I keep forgetting things. We also have... A, I'm pretty sure the Magpul little grip slots can uh, interchange with these. So you can put like a battery pack in here or whatever. But that also comes in and out. Pretty nice. So let me know what you guys think of the Vector. Also, check out the website, 2aninja.com. Link will be in the description. Pick up a patch or a sticker and uh, check out some of the affiliate links on there. So patches are $12 with code NINJA. You'll save $2. So it's really $10 for a patch and then $5 for a sticker. Not too crazy. If you can afford to pick one up, um, please do it and help me support the channel. You guys don't have to, but if you do have the money and you do want to support the channel, please pick up a patch or sticker. Or a, a patch or a sticker. So that's going to be it, guys. Really hope you guys like the Vector. We'll get it out to the range as soon as possible. And we'll see you guys in the next one.